Welcome back to the channel, YouTube. In this video, we are gonna repair a broken tenon and ferrule on a Predator 314 shaft. It's a common problem that is actually pretty difficult. You know, if you don't have the proper tools and a, and a lathe and stuff like that, it is a little bit tough to fix. But ever, anyway, if you get any enjoyment out of the video, please like it, it helps out a lot. And uh, if you wanna drop a subscribe, we've got tons of awesome projects coming. We're restoring a Gold Crown One. Uh, we're gonna always be keeping up on stuff with like uh, cue repairs, uh, table repairs. And I'm also making cues, gonna have all kinds of stuff like that. And then once my table's up and stuff like that, we will be doing some instructions and uh, tips and some streams and stuff like that. So please drop a subscribe, be much appreciated. Okay, so don't mind the mess, just finished it up building a cue last night and I did not get to clean up after clear coating. But right here is our repair slash problem. And it's common, especially with these, you know, this shaft's got some mileage on it, you can see. Um, but it's still a good, savable, low deflection shaft. And what we have to do is, is face off the end of the shaft, cut off a little piece of this. It's actually off of a Dufferin. Uh, so it's Canadian hard rock maple. We need to cut a little piece of this off the end and make our very own uh, dowel or tenon that is actually gonna go down in that hole and it's gonna stick up out to be our new tenon for the new ferrule. So anyway, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to face off the top of this shaft and give us a nice clean starting point. All right, so I checked my center on my tailstock and I got the uh, end of the shaft chucked up here, dead center, and I got a drill bit in the tailstock that I'm gonna use to bore out the center of this shaft. Now, I don't have a micro boring bit for my tool post so unfortunately uh, I'm doing this with a drill bit it'll be okay I just need to get a very accurate uh, center hole here for this tenon and it'll make it so that the job goes really well and the ferrule is easy to match up but anyway let's get a little hole going here Okay, that looks good and we're gonna move on to the next step which is taking this shaft and turning down and cutting off a part of this that will fit inside this hole and it'll stick out a half inch long so we can put a brand new ferrule on the end of here. So let's get that done now. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to figure out <clears throat> what our ID is of this hole and we need to turn down the donor shaft right here to that diameter. test fit here. Right, it's fitting a little snug. And all you do now is uh Got the new ferrule glued up, face it off, get it trued up with the uh, cutoff. We'll try to get a decent little video of that up close. Lock that down since I'm holding the phone. All right, my tripod's broke, so we're just gonna film this this way, holding it. Sand the back of the tip and the top of the ferrule with 100 grit sandpaper, get any extra dust off with some duct tape, and then you're just gonna put some glue on the back of the tip, put it in place, hold it in place with the uh, concave uh, tailstock here, 
And then I just hit it with a little bit of accelerant and I let it sit for about 10 minutes just to set up real nice before I start cutting. Okay, we are completely reconditioning this shaft. I mean, we're going from all the way from 320 all the way out to 3000 grit sandpaper, and then we're going to clean it, seal it, sand it again, and wax it. And when you're talking about a shaft and waxing and all, it, the, the jokes just write themselves at this point. But anyway, this shaft was in really really bad state. I mean, it, from what it looks like, he probably broke with it or something or just got angry because it was split at the end, super dirty. The clear coat was gone on the bottom of the shaft. We end up completely redoing this shaft, and it looks brand new when it's all said and done to a point where I would play with this shaft. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video.